What is up everybody, it's Mike Mandel, WBA here, back again with another episode of WWE Draft Wars with Nathan. Hi everyone. We are here with another Monday Night Raw. It is the second one in February. We are two weeks out from uh, No Way Out, two weeks after the Rumble. We're halfway through. Let's jump into the show. So we kick things off with a huge pre-show bout at the Snoo Arena, where in a pre-show bout that had decent wrestling but little heat, Big Show won a battle royal in 9 minutes and 41 seconds. The other members of the final four were Luke Harper, Jack Gallagher and No Way Jose, with Harper being the final elimination. Big Show got the most eliminations over the course of the match. The other participants were Aiden English, Akam, Akira Tozawa, Cedric Alexander, Razor and TJP. 64C could have been worse. Yeah, TJP improving your performance skills as well, because that's the man you want to push. Oh yeah, TJP, who is yet to win a match so far. Yeah. So, Raw begins with an 82B. Kurt Angle waddles his way out of the ring, and he announces Drew McIntyre's withdrawal. He says that he broke his tailbone last night, and he will be out of action for the next six weeks, he says. But a replacement match will occur now. It will feature some of the losers from last week's qualifying matchups. It will feature Andrade Cien Almas, Battle Apollo Cruz, Shelton Benjamin, and also Bobby Roode. And this man. Dun dun dun. Who's the man, Mike? Do 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 do. You just meant a press next segment. Do, 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 do. It's John Cena, do, who returns do, do, do. after a month and a bit out, defeating Apollo do, Crews, do, Bobby Roode, Andrade, Cien Almas, and Shelton Benjamin in 10.35, pinning Apollo Crews with an attitude adjustment and a 78B. He gets an 86 performance. Almas with a 75, the others, who cares? Do, 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 do. Almas doing quite well. His time is up. His time is now. Any improvements? You can't Go see on. him. His time is now. He is the franchise. Then we get another 78B, where Dolph Ziggler tries to get himself on the same page as Dean Ambrose, going into the, tonight's main event, where they battle the team of Rusev and Seth Rollins. John Cena should have had a, fra uh, a stable called the franchise. No, he shouldn't. Yes, he should. No, he shouldn't, because you can only have one franchise player. Yeah, but he's the so franchise player, stable, and everyone it? else is the franchise. He's the franchise player of the franchise. That makes no sense, and the company should be you called the no franchise. Sense. It's up next in a 63C. Mustafa Ali defeats Buddy Murphy in 7 minutes and 10 seconds by pinfall with a reverse 450. He wins the Cruiserweight title, finally! It took him two and a half years, but he does it. He has great chemistry with Buddy Murphy who gets a 45, but Mustafa gets a 70. Big boys, big matches, but not that big boys, because if there were big boys to an e to such an extent, then they wouldn't be on 205 anymore. Big match, big win for Mustafa Ali. Yeah, Murphy improving his technical skills, but it's too late for that, Murphy. You've lost your title. Yeah, and I believe with that match, Buddy Murphy is forced to go to SmackDown, that poor man. I didn't realise that was the rules, but fuck it, I'll take it. I didn't draft him. Yes, you did. Nope. I'm pretty sure you did. Nope. It's up next, we have a 69C plus where Sasha Banks is backstage for a promo where she claims that she is the baddest woman on the planet. She claims that she is the boss and that if Nikki Bella and Ronda Rousey want to piss her off, that's fine. But don't come crying to her when she makes you both tap out. She says that tonight she'll make Nikki tap out. At WrestleMania, she'll make Ronda tap out. And ain't a damn woman in this company is going to stop her. 69C plus. Not bad. Legit. Boss. Wait. We then have a 56C minus in that match where Nikki Bella draws with Sasha Banks when the match descends into chaos and not the faction from New Japan when Ronda Rousey gets involved and beats up both of them. She locks Nikki Bella in a brutal armbar 
and she has to get pulled away from security as she sends Sasha Banks crashing into the barricade at ringside. 65 for Sasha and the reverse of that sees Nikki get a 56. Any improvements? None at all. Let's move on. Not a terrible rating for Nikki in her return to the ring. Not at all. When, when would her last match have been? Like, Evolution? I don't know. Was it Evolution she had a match with I, Ronda? I don't have a clue. Whenever that was. Sammy may be up next. Speaking of Ronda, she's walking backstage as the camera fades after the commercial break. And Kurt Angle demands an apology from her. And she just walks out. She walks away from him. And Kurt says, don't you care, Ronda? Don't you care about what she's done? She says, I don't care about what I've done. And I don't give a damn about what I've done. I don't give a damn about my reputation. All I care about is my Raw Women's Championship. 79B. Ronda improvised well throughout the segment. Good on you, Ronda. She loves being unscripted, bless her. Yeah, so moving on from that. We then have a 49D plus where Matt Riddle, the bro, beats the shit out of Goldust, tapping him out in 314 with the bro mission. Yeah. Good win for Matt Riddle. Unfortunately, off his game a lot, only getting a 46 to Goldust's 56. But he still beat the shit out of Goldie. No and has a lovely beats. snapback cap. Yeah, doing his best Jim Smallman impression. Christ. Then we have a 72B minus. Kurt Angle stood in his office when Noe Jose walks in with his little conga crew. And he asks for a match against John Cena because he says, You know, you've been given opportunities lately, I appreciate that, but I want an opportunity. I want to be in the Elimination Chamber, so I want a match against John Cena where the winner gets a spot in the Chamber at No Way Out, because after all, you can't spell No Way Out without No Way, and nothing is No Way like No Way Jose. There's No Uh, Way Party like a No Way Jose party. Exactly, and all of a sudden... Someone starts playing the clarinet, someone starts playing the tambourine, and someone starts playing with a child. Oh, wait, that's TJP, he's not part of the crew. Let's advance. Then we have a 78B. So, Kurt Angle, he's befuddled, he's bewildered, he walks through the corridors as he has a commotion. Seth Rollins, he's talking backstage, and he says that he will win tonight, he'll beat Dean Ambrose tonight, and then he'll beat Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. But wait, what's that? It's Dean Ambrose! He attacks Seth Rollins. He starts beating the shit out of him. Kurt Angle comes in to break it up. And then, what's that? It's Bobby Roode, who rolls up Dean Ambrose, wins the hardcore title. Bobby Roode is your new hardcore champion. And if it says hardcore, like losing every week and then getting a roll up. Just like they He's did lost in, for just months like they did on a weekly basis via roll-up. He finally wins a belt via roll-up. It's long-term storyteller, Mike. Something SmackDown wouldn't know anything about. Yeah, it's not like I've had a Rey Mysterio storyline going since the Viva series. What storyline? He keeps vanishing. Yeah, exactly. He's magic. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He doesn't know the extent of his powers yet. Mysterio's magic, he wears a magic mask, and Natalia loses to Emma in five minutes flat via pinfall with a handful of tights. So Emma's victorious in her return. She gets a 47 but seemed off her game. Natalia gets a 60, and obviously Natalia, with Ember Moon away from action tonight, as she already competed on at Bryson, this was Natalia's chance to get revenge on behalf of her friend Ember Moon, but she wasn't able to, and Emma sneaks a victory there in her return. 57C minus. Sneaky Emma. Yeah, not the best in ring performance, but she will build on that. Yeah, and she did seem off her game, so she wouldn't have been far off of Natalia. Mm. And it looks like with that defeat in the attack last week, it seems like Natalia and Ember Moon have a bit of a dilemma. Yeah, I see what you did there. Following that, the revival come out. They complain that they've been overlooked for Luchao's party the last couple of weeks. Before that, they were overlooked by the club and they're sick of it. And tonight, right now, they're going to prove why they shouldn't be overlooked anymore because they are the best tag team in WWE. And their victory up next against Lucha House Party will prove just why. 43D, it's not great. Revivals suck for some reason on this. They can't talk. 
Yeah, they can. No, not in, I mean in, in this. Everyone knows how to talk that's an adult, Mikey, silly Billy. And after that, the revival that's defeat the Lucha true, House Party in 642 when Scotty D defeats Lindsay Dorado with the Shatter Machine at 60C. Grand Metalik did quite well. A little worse than he's been doing lately. He needs a couple of victories, bless him. And the revival are getting a little bit better, but still, it's not good enough from the revival. It just isn't. So they do still pick up the win. Yes, they do. Big win in the tag division. As John Cena's backstage where he promises to win the Elimination Chamber next Sunday and break the record for most championship or world championship reigns in WWE, which is 16. He's tied with Ric Flair. Can he break the record? Can he go all the way? Find out next Sunday. He's obviously not worried about No Way Jose. Kurt Angle never confirmed that match. Yeah, so no way Jose could take him by surprise. But it may also not happen. I think there's no way that John Cena will make it to Elimination Chamber. And speaking of making it to things, we've made it to the semi-main event tonight. It's in a 67C+. Plus. Finn Balor and the club defeat Bray Wyatt, Kane and Mike Kanellis. In 11:21, when Finn Balor pinned Kane with the coup de gras. And I've got to say, Kane's looking good these days. He's alright. I prefer Bray if he kept his mask on. Bray gets a 75. Finn Balor gets an 87. And what you want about mask? Kane's never wore a mask. But a big match there. And a big win for Finn Balor with a big rating there. Mike improves in performance. Congratulations, Mike. And Bray Wyatt improves in technical. Yeah. Decent rating for Bray, actually. Yeah, it was. Quite happy with them. Then after the match... Mike Canellis and Bray Wyatt argue they're very heated men right now. You know, it's boiling in the snoo centre. And they blame each other for the loss. And then Kane walks in and he's like, no, it's both of your faults. It's both of your faults. You're so mental. Have you even seen yourself? And Mike's like, look at you. You dress like Donald Trump. And then both of them hit a double choke slam on Kane, lay him through the announce table. And, yeah, Kane looks very hurt as he gets a 65C. And to that question that was asked by Kane there, we say no. No, we cannot. No way, Jose. No way, Jose, indeed. What happens next? <gasps> it's the main event, which gets a 79B. When 1607 Seth and Ruru beat Dolphin Dean Dean. In a 79B, when Seth pins Dolph with a curb stomp. Dean with a 90, Seth with an 87, Rusev with an 87. Shag my arse. Monday Night Raw books well. Any improvements, Michael? Let's have a little look, see. Nope. No, there are not. But there's one more segment. <gasps> Gasp! Shocked emoji. Cool on capital O. What happens next? There's another segment and it's at the end and you haven't used Brock Lesnar yet. I wonder who could be in it. Who's in it's it? It's Brock Lesnar. As he gets a 100 A star. All As Rusev. Brock comes out and he attacks Seth Rollins. He hits a big knee, similar to Seth Kingsley on knee, but not quite. Big German suplex. Rusev comes in, hits a matchka kick. Brock stumbles. Rusev goes to capitalize, but he's tired and Brock dumps him out of the ring. Dolph Ziggler looks for a super kick, but gets laid out with a big F5. He gets caught. And then Dean Ambrose squares up to Brock Lesnar, looks him dead in the face. He says, I'm not scared of you, Brock. And he starts bringing the fight to Brock. He goes for the stomach because that's where the diverticulitis is. And Brock catches him, scoops him up eventually. And it's the big F5 and stands tall over all four men. Brock Lesnar on Raw yet again because we pay him the big bucks. So what is it that Brock Lesnar's got in his stomach? Diverticulitis. Say that again. Diverticulitis. No, you you cutting out, mate. I can't. I can't hear. Diverticulitis, O'Neill. You mean diverticulitis? Oh. And so we round off that show 
with a big bad rating of an 82p, increasing the popularity in 26 whole regions. Shag a dolphin. I'd actually say it was a big, fairly good rating, rather than a big bad rating. I don't like you. <laughs> Feelings very much mutual. No, it's not. You love me. No, I really don't. You love me. Do, 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 do. We've got some emails waiting. That's a lot of emails. It's a lot of people released by New Japan. Why have we got them shortlisted? I just shortlisted them in case any of the good people got released, but none of them did. I mean, Ren Narita, Chicken DC. Teruaki Kanemitsu got released. Do you want to sign Ren Narita? No. He looks decent. I don't care. Give him our next deal. Got some opinions there about Raw. Seth likes what he hears from Tozawa, even though Tozawa didn't speak. Yeah. Don't speak. English I is still annoyed at his booking. Thinking. Rude thinks and Grand Metal League has no charisma. Don't tell me cause it Anderson hurt. thinks Dorado doesn't get it. Uh, and uh, Cena thinks Aiden English talks well. Lovely. And Ziggler's book, uh, complaining about his uh, booking. Dolph Ziggler's booked brilliantly. Yeah. But that is all for this episode of The Draft Wars. Tune in soon for the next episode. I was going to say a number, but I'm not confident on what episode this is. 31. I think it's 28. Now we're further than that. Are you sure? Yeah, this is the third one we've done today. Oh, that's a point. And yeah, the most correct. recent I sent you was 28, which means... Hashtag no legs was right. So if you're still here, hashtag no legs was right in the comments. Yeah, I'll give you that one. So we'll see you in the next episode for more SmackDown Live. Ta-ra. Bye.